What is going on, chicks and dicks, and welcome to a new series of mine called The Adventures of <sighs> Now, if you, as you may or may not know, if you've read the description or not, uh, this is says I'm a huge fan of the Arrow TV show on the CW. I decided to make a character based of Green Arrow in that show. So, I, th I think I did a fairly good job creating it. This is uh, kind of what I uh, came up with. Uh, so, and I... This is immediately after the tutorial area. And that's kind of the reason why... I, I didn't feel like I needed to record the tutorial area because it's boring as fuck. Therefore, I uploaded the... The video I uploaded earlier containing just cutscenes. If you did not read the description on that video, it was just, I just uploaded that for the people who wanted to know the story about this game. Because those cutscenes kind of, yeah, they contain like the story explaining why everyone has superpowers and uh, what we're fighting, fighting against and all that stuff. So that's the reason for that video, why it was so short, uh, or rather why, why it didn't contain any gameplay. It's the, um, so yeah, now I might sh might as well show you, uh, if you want to make your own, like, I don't know, Green Arrow based character, maybe you uh, think this guy looks not at all as the guy in the show, but uh, for those of you who do and want to make a similar, char a similar char character, I think I'm gonna show you. Uh, like the features and the clothing that I used. So first of all, it's the hair. That doesn't really matter what kind of hair you have since you're gonna have a hood on. Uh, but then the ruined hood I used. There is another hood uh, which has like the Assassin's Creed thingy in the front. I didn't really want to use that. Uh, accessories, no. I, I don't have anything on the face. I don't have any accessories. I don't have any shoulders, no emblems. And then on the hands I got the uh, the banded. Now the cool thing about this game, I don't, you know what, never mind, I, I will show you that later when I'm done with this. Uh, and then I'm using the class speed waist, feet, I'm using paramilitary, chest also paramilitary, legs also paramilitary, -mil on the back I use the quiver, skin, Tattoo, again, it doesn't really matter what kind of skin you have since you will be using a... Uh, yeah, like a suit like this. So, you're not gonna be showing much skin, you know. And then prim primary weapon, obviously, a bow. Now... Oh yeah, and the colors is just... I mean, it's green, it's dark green, a little brighter green, and then black. And then... Again, yellow hair, blue eyes, Th this doesn't really doesn't really matter that much. Now, what I wanted to show you. The cool thing about this game is that... Let's say you... Uh, the, the, the character you chose from the beginning, like the outfit. You were very satisfied with that and you want to keep it. You don't want to change it when you get new gear. So, here's what you do. Let's say... Let's remove that. And let's uh, unlock all. Say so you get a cape, but you don't want to replace the quiver. So when you equip the cape, obviously you will use the cape. But the thing you can do is, um, where the hell did? Wait a sec. All right, now I'm confused. Oh no, wait. All right. Let's. You uh, you have a cape like that. Let's say you want a quiver. So you go over here to back. Choose the quiver. And here's the, thi the thing you can do. You can lock, you can either lock everything at once, or uh, you can just choose whatever you want to unlock and lock. That's not what I wanted to do. Whatever you want to unlock and lock. So, uh, I mean, you can still have better gear, but not having, without having to change your outfit, you know what I mean? So that's kind of cool, in my opinion. In my opinion. And also, you can... Uh, Either you change this. This is like the whole 
whole uh, outfit thingy, uh, all the, you, like, it, it's, uh, what do you call it? It's like the general color of your outfit. If you want to choose different colors depending on, uh, like, maybe you want a red hood and you want a green, green chest outfit or whatever, then you just go in here and change that. You see, up here, up, up here, up here. Alright, good, good, good. Again, I'm playing on a US server. Uh, don't ask me why, since I'm from Sweden, so I should be playing on a European server, but here's the thing. When this game, I downloaded this game when it became free to play on PC. I had it on PS3 earlier uh, when it came out, but now I wanted it on the PC. So, when I downloaded it, the only servers that was available available at the time was the US servers. So, that's why I'm on a US server. It doesn't really matter. I mean, lag-wise, it's not even laggy at all, to be honest. So, uh, I mean, that re doesn't really matter. And then, if you want to play with me and add me, you have my name up here. Arrow03. I know. Not really creative. But I'm not, I'm not very good at crea creative words. Not creative words. Creative names in video games. So it always becomes something corny or something extremely obvious. Or sell any and this little chick up here tells you what this thing, all this items. stuff is right now. As as Says I just down, came out of the tutorial well. area. She's kind of telling me, like over here you can buy stuff, sell stuff, repair stuff. And then you run over now here. You can enter the watchtower the here, but we're going to uh, go over there another time. And here go you ahead. have Check your mail. the mail. I sent you something. And I have some. Hey, I got a mask. But again, I want to equip the mask so I get sta the stats right from it. But I don't want the masks to show. And therefore, I have locked my outfit as, as it is. So nothing's gonna change. Which I think is good. And now you know how to do that. If you didn't before. Yeah, so that's good. Uh, what do we? Oh yeah, talk to Sergeant Doak. Knew, but Scarecrow busted out of our. This is Batman. That's Batman. I understand you just trust the old the Kevin Conroy but back to do it. stuff. Let's see if you can handle hero work on the ground. Of course I do. Of course I do. I'm Arrow, bitch. I'm Arrow. Well, I'm not really the real Arrow. <laughs> I can be an Arrow wannabe, right? Right? All right. So, in the beginning of the game, when you uh, create your character, you get the option to choose your mentor, which is either Batman, Superman, or Wonder Woman, if you're on the hero side. If you're on the villain side, you get the option of choosing the mentor of the Joker, Lex Luthor, and Circle. But Circle, yeah. I don't have so much knowledge of. I don't really know who that is. Looks some kind of, uh, look like some kind of magic guy though. Don't hurt me. By the way, depending on if you choose uh, Batman or Superman or Wonder Woman, you get uh, either you start in Gotham or you start in uh, Metropolis. Welcome to There's only America. Gotham and Metropolis, so if you choose Batman, or no, if you choose uh, Superman, you uh, get sent to Metropolis. Metropolis. If you choose Wonder Woman, again, you get sent to Metropolis. So you only get sent to Gotham if you pick the Joker or Batman. Run for your life! No, no, no! I'm beating these guys. What do you do? Let's uh, see this bow in action. It isn't really effective right now, since uh, I mean it's the beginner bow, so it doesn't really have any good stats. And here's the things for the complete noobs of this game is that uh, if you hold down the right the right mouse button, it is if you want to do the uh, the range attacks, you do a more powerful attack. Like. A short jump attack like this, and the same thing with with the uh, left mouse button when you is the uh, which is the close combat button. So the right right mouse button is 
range attacks are uh, mostly uh, usually with any char any character uh, depending on I don't really since I haven't tried out every power I can't speak for every power but all the ones I've tried out you got a range attack and a close close quarter attack I guess you can call it. But yeah, uh, this is gonna that's gonna be it for it, this part. Sorry, I haven't. I've, I've explained more than I've actually like played, I guess. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this series, don't forget to rate it and don't forget to subscribe to uh, the Red Light Broadcasting Network for more of these videos. And feel free to check out my channel. And I will see you in the next one. I'm out of here. Peace.